Minecraft, one of the most known games out there with probably about most copies sold as well. I mean, ask anyone, they know what it is. It's a game that's years old and has filled the hearts and minds of many, many people with lovely, lovely memories. But one problem I see people complain a lot is the lack of updates that it gets. So I went ahead and checked it out myself and here's what I found. So over the past four years, not a lot of content has been added. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that nothing's been added, but when you look at 2020 and 2021, for instance, when we look at that, 2020 had the Nether update, which while nice, doesn't really add a whole lot or only part of the map. And then 2021 goes into the overworld and then just caves and cliffs but that's only the latter part over the two years they actually had part one of that so we have over two years time three updates so that's not a lot but again not nothing and at the end of the day when you look at the size of the updates while it may not seem like much these updates actually do have some content in them or require some time to get made but then again when you go and look over at other games they have way more updates even if they're uh small little games even if they're solo devs and stuff minecraft is made by hundreds of developers at this point i mean next to that let's look at mods most of the times this is just a single modder adding more content in a months time than minecraft does or mojang does in two years time now i'll get to exactly why that is but what also bothers me is that i don't personally really like making like cool things i'm the friend in the friend group that just makes a, a block house of, of wood and just decides like hey i'm gonna drop everything in here for me minecraft has been and always will be about just exploring the game and finding things um but there have been updates that really do help that like for instance the update with uh, seas and sunken ships and being able to explore all of that that added a lot of content for me personally but there's also often when you have these updates like i said three updates over two years time if you're unlucky and the updates doesn't add that or it adds more cosmetic stuff while it's fun for one type of player it's definitely not fun for the other type of player i understand that's a me problem i'm not trying to hate here or whine about that but like I said, exploration is just what Minecraft is for me. And I'm just trying to say like, there are probably players like me that only really like that type of content when Minecraft offers it. So I think that that might offer an issue. The same with if you don't want to explore that much in Minecraft and would rather just make cool stuff the other way around. So why exactly does it update so slow? Well, there's a few reasons for that. First of all, it's a company. So that means that whatever choices, whatever updates, whatever things they want to change, add, remove, whatever, needs to get approved first. And that ends up slowing down the entire process by a lot. Personally, I've worked as an intern at a company and there was one guy between me and the person having to decide something for me and it took about a week's time. So you can understand that in a company with hundreds of people in it, that there can be some delays with certain choices or certain alterations of the game. It takes a lot of time to add anything of an update. And while there are many cool creative ideas that are out there with the many mods that the game has already had, it still creates the issue that making an update with like a huge amount of extra content um, might make it seem a bit too different from what the game is supposed to be at the end of the day. Let's not forget that it is a kid's game, right? Like this isn't made for us. Uh, I was 10 year old when I started playing the game. And I think a lot of people uh, also started playing when they were a kid, but it's like the target audience is still kids. We started playing it as kids because we loved it back then. We're still loving it because it's still a great game, but let's be honest here, we're not the target audience of this game. This game is a blocky game about just exploring a world and just doing a bunch of random stuff like building a house and defeating the ender dragon like there's not a lot of stuff in there that's really advanced co you know complicated difficult there's not a lot of stuff out there that you could say like oh yeah this really is not catered towards children because it is another issue that i looked into that apparently has been going is that like i said minecraft is an old game i think when i was 10 i'm i'm 23 right now the game was pretty much in like alpha or beta state when i bought it 
we're 13 years later. So it's insanely old code that's probably already still rooted in there. And on top of that, it's probably also just so much code. I don't want to look at the source code of Minecraft. I think that that adds a lot of difficulties. Uh, a lot of the developers throughout the process, it was uh, Notch that made Minecraft. And I think throughout the years, a lot of developers have been added to that process, having to learn the code that was implemented by someone else years ago that they don't understand and everything they make needs to work perfectly with every other feature in the game because anything could break and i understand that this is something for every developer i mean every game needs to make sure that whatever they do it works together because whatever you add remove or change well if it fucks anything else up well you're pretty much screwed when you have ancient code in the mix it creates a really big problem like i said where you have code that you know nothing about and it's very easy to break something and then you have to find out why exactly it's broken how to fix it and that takes away time from actually working on the game that you want to work on. There's also, of course, then testing afterwards, both internal and external testing. So we have a few people that are working on the code that need to work on it. And then while they, after they've kind of cleared it, they have to do these tests by uh, other people. There's people who just play the game to test a bunch of stuff. But when you do something like the Caves and Cliffs update, where it's like world generation, well, you have to go and explore a world to know if it works, right? Like you can do a certain part of the map and be like hey look that part works but then eventually does it all fit together really well with the entire map that you have randomly generated and something like that takes a lot of different time as well so development gets slowed down by the amount of people that need to approve then there's also just the sheer amount of time that it takes to just get something into the state where it's actually presentable i mean say what you want about minecraft but i have rarely seen or heard anything about an update being pushed that wasn't presentable i'm not saying perfect because there are issues sometimes with the updates that it gets but it is not unplayable or broken or like nothing works like it is presentable for the audience, especially when you, like I said, cater a game to kids. Kids aren't really going to care that much about a game bug as much as uh, an older audience is going to care about it. Modders in this case don't have that slowdown. They don't have to get approved by a bunch of people. And most of them tend to work alone or in very small groups. So they all have their common goal, make this thing, this mod or this mod pack. And that's it. That's all we have to do. No approval. Um, they can do whatever they want they add the features they want they don't have to care like hey does it break any code their mod still needs to work but it's a lot smaller in time and effort and whatnot not saying mods aren't nothing but it's a lot easier than making the game itself personally me i'm not the biggest fan of uh, vanilla minecraft i know a lot of people if not everyone has that like yearly minecraft addiction like week or two weeks where you go with your friends you start a new world and then it goes through like the same process a lot of fun stuff can happen during those weeks but personally i feel like whenever i turn on minecraft i don't see enough new stuff but like i said and that's the beautiful part of it it's mods that can fix those issues i really don't understand when people cry about the update updates being too slow yes that is the case but let's not forget that when you play one of those mod packs are you still really playing Minecraft? It tends to really go one direction or the other, or it's way too much content in one time. And when you're catering it for kids that play the game, you don't really want to just add a bunch of weird new stuff that makes kids go like, oh, what the hell is all of this? How, how am I supposed to work with this? Because that might put them off from actually playing the game and then you're just losing your target audience. So Mojang knows their target audience and they have their own reasons why they probably Probably don't push out as many uh, updates as they do it's a slow and tricky process to make a game like minecraft to update the game so i can't really hate on them for being that slow and if you're like me and you don't like vanilla minecraft just download a mod pack it's gotten as easy as just you install a launcher you put on the launcher you pick a mod pack download wait a few minutes bam you can play 
and then you have a whole mod pack for yourself you want to do that on the server that's a bit more difficult but still the process has gotten so simple compared to what it was back in the day there are so many amazing mods years and years and years of mods a lot of them updated to the current version of the game go and go wild on it if you don't like the updates the game is getting so one last time because i have to say this for people to really realize it this game is made for kids if you feel like the game doesn't really cater anymore towards you like it really isn't made for you anymore that might be because it is right we've gotten older i, I don't think minecraft is the pinnacle of gaming anymore for people in their 20s or 30s that's just the way it is and we can't really do much more about that there's a lot of amazing memories that that we've probably had you and i both have had i don't see why we can't have more memories in minecraft and if not in other games that was it though for my own opinion leave yours down in the comments below and while you're down there subscribe to have more content just like this where i talk about gaming now if you've never heard of this channel or of me why not click this video it's where i explain the current situation for small content creators and how frustrating and annoying it can be to really get started on youtube so if you want to know how youtube works a bit behind the scenes check that one out and i'll see you there